while Joseph and Mary have made their way to Bethlehem, what we find is they give birth there. And we'll, we'll zoom in on that story here at the next station. But, but as that's taking place, we recognize God's not just revealing this to a few people, not just to Joseph and Mary and three wise men or a group of magi, but, but God's revealing it to all sorts of figures that relate to what the prophets have said in the Old Testament. And so it says as that birth is happening in Bethlehem that that there are shepherds living out in the fields nearby that are keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appears to those shepherds and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. It's a God in the flesh. The one everybody's been waiting for. Not just one who will be called Son of the Most High. The angel clearly says, this is the one that brings peace to everyone. This is the one that is good news for all people. This is what you've been waiting for. It's happened just a little ways away from your fields in the town of David. Make your way there and worship him. So the shepherds, aware of what the angels are doing, join them in song, singing glory to God in highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. God's made his way to earth. The stars have orchestrated it. The magi have followed that. Joseph and Mary have heard about it. They've tried to explain that to friends and family. They've journeyed to Bethlehem, the town of David, because they're from the line of David that the prophets had said the king would come from. And the shepherds get to hear from an angel as well. The Savior of the world, the Messiah, he's been born. Go celebrate. God's never wanted this to be hidden. It's never just been about gifts, though some of those get exchanged in the Christmas story. It's never just about about enjoying family, though we hope you have great times doing that. It's always been about God coming to earth to restore his people, to bring his kingdom here and to invite us to participate in it. And it happens through a baby. The next station, we're going to talk about that birth about Jesus in Bethlehem at a manger being born. Would you drive to that next station and talk through that together as well?